that. But a prophecy, always remember, a prophecy is a stretch of your potential. Before a prophecy come to pass, you got to go through hell in your life. And you got to pass that test. A prophecy is, I used to teach a prophetic. In one of the premier churches in this region. Didn't I? Taught doctors, pre premier people. Premier, where all the big time churches came to get their credentials from. I was a prophetic trainer there for years. something back, especially on his day. That's his day, Thanksgiving. you got to give him something back. Let's look at Psalms 95, 2 and 3. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And come make before his presence with thanksgiving. So, when you come into the presence of the Lord, one of the things you do you come with thanksgiving. You come with giving him thanks. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me. You come with thanksgiving. You come in his presence. You don't come into the presence of the Lord any kind of way. There's a way you come into the presence of the Lord. You come into his presence with thanksgiving. You don't come with an attitude. You don't come mad. You don't come. Just like when you come to church. When you come to church, we, I see people come in here. And I see people coming here, coming to church, come to church, and they talk about all this God stuff. They talk about all this God stuff and come in here looking mad and angry. But one of the things you do, you all, when you, 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 you come in the presence of the Lord, you don't come in the presence of the Lord any kind of way. Right. But see, I'm, I was a little bit more blessed than y'all because I had famous pastors taught me. I'm going to bring all my boys, all my pastors through here. They taught me well. I was right up under them. Come up here. Come up, Pastor Paul. I was right up under them like this. And they taught me. So I walked with them. You see what I'm saying? They taught me. I armor bearer for them. Mm -hmm. So they don't, they taught me. You don't come in God's presence any kind of way. Not just that. They taught me a lot of things. See, a lot of things y'all learn from the pulpit when I'm speaking it. But I was right, I was in the office and everything. So I could pick up your error real quick. You don't come in the presence of the Lord any kind of way. Mm -hmm. That's showing disrespect. Right. Whether you know or not, right. it's still disrespect. Right. You may not know, but you. But the thing is, it's still disrespect. You see what I'm saying? You don't come in the presence of the Lord any kind of way. You don't do that. But see, I was blessed. I had great mentors, famous pastors, mm -hmm. that taught me. You don't come in the presence of the Lord angry, mad, things like that. You don't come in the presence of the Lord any kind of way. You come in the presence of the Lord with humbleness. Amen. You humble yourself when you come in the presence of the Lord. You talking about the Almighty, man. You talking about a person that can take that breath out of your body. Yeah. You don't match up with nobody like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody you can't even see. <laughs> you don't know if they over here, up there. You don't know where they at. All you know is they got power over you. Right. Right. And then you gotta go to sleep too. <laughs> you know, what what what